some major emerging economies are slowing down. What investors can expect in terms of like earning prospects and visibility from emerging market companies? I think uh, the earnings prospects for emerging markets are getting better uh, because with the slowdown, inflation is coming down and these countries will be able to cut interest rates and be able to start stimulating uh, economic activity again. In addition, with lower inflation, you have better margins. So there's a potential for the second half of this year for earnings to rebound after what was quite a disappointing 2011. Can emerging market stocks decouple from the problems in the West? I think one of the key things to remember with regard to emerging markets is that they are dependent on foreign capital. So it's the foreigners who drive these markets up, it's the foreigners who drive these markets down. So when there's risk off, these markets fall, when there's risk on, these markets rise. And that is going to remain the case for some time to come. So if there's a risk off or people are concerned about global issues, you will see these markets come off. But that is not the same thing as saying that these companies are not making money, that they're not being profitable, that they're not doing what they're supposed to do. So we would see any global sell-off as an opportunity to buy into what remains a very dynamic region where there are some fabulous companies making very good money. So it should be seen as an opportunity, not as a threat. Is the consumption growth in emerging markets still a good investment story? I think the consumption story in emerging markets is a 20, 30, 50 year story. Uh, it is the, the story of changing demographics, increasing wealth. And emerging market consumers are no different from Western consumers. They just have less money at the moment. And in the years to come, they will have more money. So there will be a continuing trend in emerging markets for, as I said, many, many years. That we have no concerns about. The issues in the short term is whether the valuations of these companies more than reflect those good long-term prospects. And there, I think, while we've seen a big run-up in these stocks, there still is some value.